When we had last left V, she had signed on for more work with the Paralyses, and upon reporting back to their penthouse suite, did she engage in uncovering a mysterious mystery surrounding a even more mysterious intruder invasion that had happened in the middle of the night that Jefferson Paralas seemed to forget the specifics of. After much looking around and snooping around their apartment penthouse suite area, did V discover that indeed they were at the very epicenter of some wild ass mind control conspiracy. Indeed, there is an entire hidden surveillance room inside of their suite that they were, that whoever was using to manipulate and monitor them. It seemed as if it was tied to their own private security team, but who was behind them and for what motive? Well, it was time to find out. This is Cyberpunk. 2077. Welcome back. <gasps> Though I guess we did find out that it was Maelstrom Gang, right? That they were partially behind it as well. But, hey, we still are lacking some specifics. Anyway, I brought us over here to this, sold some stuff off there. I wanted to go over to that weapon shop, but it's inaccessible. It's inside of the All Foods thing. I think it's the one from the very beginning, and we just can't get in there. Alright, there we are. And let's go on over here. Here, I should probably... Oh, I can't untrack that, can I? No. No dice. All right. Cherry Blossom Market. Here we come. Okay. I wonder if this will lead into another quest, a third one in this chain. Right? Where we actually have to track down whoever. Right? I don't know. I'm assuming we'll meet their... I don't know what you would call it. Hey, hey, you their, their competitor. Hey, you dig brain dances? Hey, fish your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, primest shit of a scroll. Oh, we can actually check this dude out. Hey, Sweet dreams, hey, it says. Hey, this virtual I got right here, you gotta dive into this motherfucker. Should we do this right now, though? No, we, should, we should hold on, because it gave us a quest, didn't it? Let's see, it was called Sweet Dreams? Yeah. Okay, we can come back to that. Alright, and we will definitely come back to it. What's going on here? Oh, this is just because it's a Tiger Claws hangout. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private, not in front of Jeff. Okay, confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot, I can't gather my thoughts. What the fuck? She couldn't be behind it, could she? She, she seemed just as shocked. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. Surely she's not under its influence right now. She's like too far away from her it's building. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie, even his musical taste changed overnight. I wonder why so many of those things changed as well. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Right, with her too. Because of the... the color and the... with the roses or whatever, right? But... Why did all these other Wait, things change as well? Unless it was unintentional? Maybe it's a symptom? A side effect? In which case, wouldn't the... 
like when they know when the culprit in this case whoever did this to them know that it was such a it was so easy to spot if there was a third party involved and any for your thoughts because even she was starting to notice but maybe they just assumed that they had full control over the situation even as they were realizing it they would continue exerting control until like their memories were completely wiped I don't know notice any changes in yourself after some time on several occasions my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely oh, that must have been hard it was you know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Oh. Huh. I find that terrifying. Yeah, that is terrifying. That's so wild. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? This is also pretty decent because it ties kind of back into, like, the main quest, right? It ties back into, v? like, Are you still with becoming me? a different person, right? Like, your own personhood and what it is to, like, be, I guess be overwritten by someone else. Or, or I guess in a way what it is what it means to die right isn't that like the core of of a lot of the stuff here and at least so far sense. is is like a lot of the main themes aren't actually so like it's not so much a story about about like cyberpunk stuff right it's more a story of like like the story that they're telling it isn't at least so far it's not necessary to take place specifically in a cyberpunk version of sci-fi it could be in any kind of sci-fi right it's not uh it's not a story that that's making use of like cyberpunk genre tropes and all that it's making use hey? of just are you still with me of just the sci-fi setting right and it, it's more a story about i guess mortality right isn't that like what a lot of the bigger side quests seem to tie back into is like mortality of people places and things right like with judy all, her whole old town, that whole old life is gone. Uh, with Panam, there was a scorpion who died and all that. Their organization had to change and all that, right? I don't know. I feel like we're, we're still a little rough around the edges with that. I feel like we're still zeroing in on, like, what the main idea is. But we've got a rough idea. All right. Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I mean, we already... I guess it does. it's not reactive to the fact that we read through all the logs and stuff, right? And it pretends that, like, the player hasn't read that. Because we should know that, of course, talking with security would get her nothing because we know that security is in on it, right? Wait, didn't we even bring that up in conversation with her? Are we getting mind-controlled right now? I could have sworn that we brought it up in conversation with her that hey? security was in on it. Are you it. still with me? Weird. Let, let's say this and just... We'll see where it goes. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. Right. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. Yeah, because they're in on it. And then the next day. Am I tripping balls? I got a call. <laughs> Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a 
garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. That seems outrageous. Huh. V? Are you still with me? I'm not gonna lie to- I'm- <laughs> I can't not tell him. That's ridiculous. Let's- let's exhaust these things here. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz? Wait, she didn't know. I didn't have a choice. Right? She didn't know who the caller was. I didn't know was. what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. What? That's what she was like? What? Am I misunderstanding? I wish I could go back in and like the chat thoughts? or something. Like uh, the subtitles and all that. Because she doesn't know who, who did it, right? She just got done saying that it was an unknown caller. She didn't know who they were. Huh. Okay. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? <laughs> just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. Mm. All I know is I love my husband and I want him to be safe and and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It'd destroy him. He should know. He should totally know. That seems so fucked up that he that we shouldn't let him know. That seems so fucked. V? Are you still with me? And like, if they really did want to kill him, like, maybe it's an empty threat, because if they wanted to kill him, this whole thing would be so much easier instead of, like, doing all the careful manipulation as soon as they got a foothold in their brains, just have him off himself, right? That's so much easier than continuing this, like, smoke screen trying to fool everyone, right? Isn't it so much easier, like, as soon as you're able to get make him have the accident, wipe out the competition, right? Huh. Or even her right now, like, surely they're aware of what she knows, right? She's acting like, like they don't know that she knows when they probably would know, right? They're in her fucking brain. If anything, I'm, I'm becoming more inclined to, to say that this is, that she's been programmed to say this, right? Or that they've, um, they've suggested to her that this is an ideal thing to say and she agrees, right? Subconsciously su suggested, right? Within her inner workings. Let's go with this. But damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival. Holt, you just need to confirm what I say. I mean, SSI is in on it, right? But we don't know if, if it was Holt, right? And any for your thoughts? And they should fire SSI, but won't that cause more ruckus? Won't that get more heat on them, or Jeff in particular? And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Yeah, well, he should know. He should be... Yeah, he should have the agency to deal with his own shit, right? He should have self-agency in this. He should be made aware. Because he clearly me? wants to be aware, right? Or else he wouldn't have hired V. Truly prepared to fire SSI. After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. 
What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. So she might not even remember Goodbye. that we had this talk. <laughs> so then I'm off the hook. She, she might just forget. Right? All things fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of... Overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. Yeah, there there are distinct differences between what we're doing, but it's definitely meant to be allegorical. If anything, I'm so, surprised that they're calling it out here because they didn't call it out every time in the past. The similarities between like something going on in a side quest and, and V and Johnny, right? Let's go with this. Let's hear him out. No. No, this is different. Saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds' individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters, and your electric toothbrush. You name it. <laughs> this totally gives me, like, Deus Ex vibes, especially with the music right now and all that. This is, like, very Deus Ex, you know? Let's get out of here. Especially with how much that game deals in conspiracy. Alright, let's go with this. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. I, th I feel like it's such an easy choice, and to me, her... Her, like, arguments seem strangely, like, pretty flimsy, right? All right. Brain. Hmm. Makes you think. Okay. <laughs> you like that? The, your brain. It makes you think. <laughs> also, you know, the mind control stuff. Okay, let's get on out of here. We'll meet back up with them. Let's see, where's our nearest fast travel point, even? Okay, right there, right next to the side quest, dude. Okay, good. Let's bring this up. And we really do trot all around town, don't we? Okay, what's the nearest one? I don't even know. I guess Memorial Park? You can shoot with better accuracy with the help of different skills, perks, and even some cyberware implants. Translation implants... Oh! Hey, Delamain. Oh, Jesus. Feel free, Cirrus Cola. Alright. Look at his fucking bulge. <laughs> Good lord. It's like some... <laughs> some, like, shitty, like, racist's YouTube avatar, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Some some people do that thing where they have, like, their a drawing of, like, a character that's meant to represent them. And in their video essay, they, like, slowly animate through, like... Or, or th not even animate, really, but they go through, like, I don't know. They they have, like, six different frames conveying various emotions. Most of them, like, oh, suspicion, frustration, and all that. <laughs> all while they're trying to lay out some sort of, like, fucked up diatribe. <laughs> Good God. I forget who it was that made a video that, that was, like, mocking that shit. I think it was H-Bomb. Good God. All right. Oh, hey. Look at all this. What the fuck? How do I... Oh, what do I even do? How do I get out? 
Oh, look, there's an assault in progress right here, too. Jeez, I'm Pete. Yeah, that's it, in fact. Who are these people? Oh, they're Militech. Okay. So it's cool if I fuck them up. Alright. Let's see, you're also with Militech? Yeah. Alright. Look, they don't mind because I'm not in their, their kill zone or whatever. There you go. Nighty night. Let's just take all that stuff. Good. Sneak over here. There's only three more of them, it looks like? Yeah. Wild. Okay. I guess we can get this dude. Uh-oh. That person turned around. Contact! Contact! There we go. Easy enough. Is there a body depository around here? Get some free XP? I don't think so. Okay. What the fuck were they even looking at? An elimination order. Oh, and a crafting spec. Let's give it a read. Militech Sergeant 7773. We have Edith Kutaga in custody, awaiting further orders. Militech Major. Do you confirm she was wearing a listening device? Confirmed. Understood. Eliminate Edith Kutaga for terrorist activity, motivated by anti-corporate and anti-capitalist ideologies. Copy that. <laughs> Good God. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Anything over here. I wonder if we'll ever learn more about that shit, right? Maybe that's a result of them, like, like, after the events of that Johnny set in motion with the nuke and all that. They, like, they're going, like, fuck a minority report or whatever on anyone who may have anti capitalist <laughs> ideologies or whatever. <laughs> Right? Okay, we need a fucking car, don't we? There's one. Please! Have mercy on me! I'm sorry. There we are. Good. Okay, man, a lot of cars there. Normally not that many. Jesus, that one is... Whoa, look at this guy! Look at him! They're just meant to... Wow, look! Look back there! The pathing for the cars, it's meant to drive them right into that shit. Oh shit, I, my car won't even move anymore. Oh shit, I'm trying to do the gas. Here, let me try WASD. Yeah, nothing. Wow, I, <laughs> it stopped. Am I like stuck on this or something? What the fuck has happened? Okay, we need a different car then. Let's take this one. Or this one. Look, this one's really stuck in there. What's gonna happen? You think we're just gonna blow up instantly? Mercy! Oh, we're Mercy. flying! Mercy. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hang on. This one's about to blow up. We're gonna- we need a different one. Right? We need another one. <laughs> we need- <laughs> here we go! <laughs> oh, it didn't do that much. Okay, this one's more stable. Okay. Hang on. There was another one stuck in here. Look, that one... <laughs> they're, look, they're in, getting in line. Look, you've got, like, doors and bumpers left back here. Oh, this, is, this isn't this is even a car. This is the rest of the other one. Okay. Here, maybe... Yeah, look. Their pathing is... For some reason, the car's in this lane. Their pathing is just to immediately roll right into the fucking barricade. Yo! <laughs> no wonder they don't put many cars on here, huh? Okay. Let's see, if I get in this one, it's- it's partially- nah, it hasn't yet fully merged. Bummer. Okay. Let's see. Let's head over. Oh! Oh, hell no. oh, that one's gonna fucking blow up. 
Okay, hang on. We got we got another <laughs> another potential friend here. This <laughs> is so wild. Just seeing this shit. Hang on. If I move this one out of the way, they're gonna keep going, aren't they? They're gonna keep doing it. Hold up. There we are. Oh, listen to that. That sound. Oh, look. This is good. Ooh, this one's in a real good spot, huh? I bet something cool's gonna happen now. Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, it's only just barely not collided. I see. Okay. <laughs> I like it as soon as we move it. <laughs> they, they just keep rolling through, huh? Okay, this one's definitely inside. It's like about to fucking blow. Oh, shit. Ooh, that one was a tasty one. You just fuck off now, okay? I think this car's really about to fucking blow up, though. I'm like scared of shit. <laughs> this is too much. Hang on. Okay, one more, one more. Just for fun. Ooh! Ooh, it hit the, the top of the overpass or whatever. Okay. Man, they went through so far, they're on the fucking other side of the barrier. Okay. Jeez, what a mess. <laughs> you want, right? huh? Fuck me. Okay. I don't know. Over here. Okay. This way. Then. Here. Oop, sorry. Ooh, jeez, is that person dead? No, they're fine. They're totally fine. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Unknown number, it's them. Yeah? It doesn't Ooh. matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. What? Fuck. They know I've got Johnny in me then, huh? Huh. Is that the implication? I mean, now we definitely gotta do it, right? Oh, what are these little things? Oh, they're chairs. Okay. Dude, I'm definitely gonna tell him. Hey, dude. Need to he talk. just blows up on the spot. His head pops yes, right off and flies into the Elizabeth sky. Me. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Yeah, we're gonna tell him. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. And the audio is doing that Maybe. weird cracking thing again on my end. We're just gonna be completely straightforward. They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. Is this some kind of chuckle worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. But I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me. So get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Maybe he's gonna try and strangle me, and I'll have to kill him. No, there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. Watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. 
been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. Because they're editing you to not know. He's gonna jump. I'm just expecting him to go fucking buck wild all of a sudden. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Got no idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. Long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz. I'm gonna tell him everything. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point? Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. How did she figure it out? Right? Why didn't they keep as tight of a leash on her as they did him? Right? Were they just really that sloppy? I don't know. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. no she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh-oh. Uh I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? He doesn't stand a chance. Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. What? You think Sorry, a fucking Liam. robot? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. Yeah, we read so about this. Naughty. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. What I wonder is why the AIs are so against him in particular, right? So, like, what are their Eddie, beliefs and all that? Are they just purely an evil force, or is there more nuance to them? Uh, could use a nap. Weird. Huh. Yeah, geez, I hope we get another follow-up to that, but I, I could definitely see a world in which we don't, right? Like, we don't necessarily need to have a follow-up to that. It would be awesome if we did, if it actually, like, went deeper into, like, the conspiracy and the mystery of it all. But I guess you could keep it at a cliffhanger and all that, I suppose, right? And just be like, yeah, he'll, he'll figure it out, and we can definitely infer that, like, he's totally fucked. Right? There's no way he could- he could combat it by himself. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, hopefully- hopefully it comes back to V and all that shit. Oh, we can buy this. Should we buy this? Why not? It's right here. We can afford this. <laughs> there we go. Great. Okay. I didn't intend to do that, but hey. Why not? In our quest to obtain every single vehicle, why not? 
All right, well, just as before, I'm thinking maybe we should end this one a bit early because of the audio crackling. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, just the usual thing. Glad the wheels got to you, V. Likewise, your eddies to my account. Till next time. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. This is the only game that does it. I have to assume that it's something to do with Cyberpunk itself rather than uh, something on my end, right? I don't know, because I would have to imagine that, like, if it were on my end, it would turn up in other games, right? Like we would experience it when recording like Baldur's Gate or Morrowind or Skyrim. I don't know. All right, but nonetheless, usually seems to sort itself out after a bit. All right, when next we come back, we'll continue on doing some side quests and all that. Some of the lower tier ones, right? We've still got these. Probably save these moderate ones until after we... Um, progress during in through the main storyline and all that right until we get to that good point i think so all right until next time please take care of each other